Next up is the library. We've had a number of projects in the library this time around. You'll find brand new windows upstairs and downstairs. The periodicals room, which is downstairs, has been completely remodeled with new ceiling, new flooring, new walls, new shelving, new windows that let in the bright sun into the dark space. And you'll find this to be the perfect place, perfect quiet place to sit at your desk and work on your research projects. We also spent quite a bit of time working on the library, uh, both in terms of the facility itself, but also in terms of the collection. Uh, not a lot has changed in the library over the last 20 plus years, and we realized that th there needed to be some sort of modernization to bring the library in line with university libraries in the States. So we had this vision in which we had two spaces where people could work. A space that was your traditional quiet library space where no one was allowed to talk, where you could really focus. And then another space which was a place you could work, but where, where people could talk and interaction was allowed. And that these two spaces were really important for the way that the fellows move around the institute. At the same time, we had this huge room in the basement for periodicals. And we also knew that periodicals were becoming much more accessible online. Um, so the first stage was to reassess the periodicals section and see what's available online, what's not. What could we get rid of to open up new spaces for these other activities? And over several years, actually, we conducted two even three audits of the collection were able to reduce the periodicals to um, less than 20% of what they were originally, which opened up vast amounts of space to accommodate these new ideas. So when it came time to initiate construction and make these spaces real, after consulting with an architect, we pretty much realized that this basement periodical space would be perfect for the quiet library space, especially once we removed the collection and, and changed everything down there. We had plenty of window light, so it was gonna be a nice place to sit. It was still a little bit cozy because it's underground and we could adjust the lighting so that it was a very welcoming space. So that's what you see here now. This new basement periodicals room revamped as the quiet workspace. Uh, the lighting has been renewed, the windows have been replaced and opened up. We have space for the librarian down there. There's new heating and air conditioning, new tile, new paint. This is the place to go if you just need some quiet time to work on your research project. In this main reading room, we were also able to change the lighting dynamic. Uh, first of all, we replaced all of the windows with new soundproof windows that are really beautiful with these green frames following the Albright green color. We added a false ceiling, which allowed us to add new air conditioning ducts and new spot and linear LED lighting. your next trip to the Albright, I think you'll find that the improvements in the library are well worth the wait. See you then. Mm -hmm.